As children, today we are going to do the textbook exercises of the poem Once I Saw a Little Bird. Children, I hope you all have all learned the poem well. Some of them have sent me like Akshaya, very good Akshaya, you have learned the poem very well. I hope other students also will say the poem, record the video and send it to me, okay? So, you can see a little bird flying children, yes. In unit four, we have the poem, Once I Saw a Little Bird. Children, Unit 4, Once I Saw Little Bird. Poem. Textual exercises we are going to do. Children, before doing the textbook exercises, we will once again revise the poem. Okay? Now let me read out the poem to you. Once I saw a little bird. Let me repeat the heading once again. Once I saw a little bird. Children, sing and enjoy this poem. Once I saw a little bird. Come hop, hop, hop. I cried little bird. Will you stop, stop, stop? I was going to the window to say how do you do? But he shook his little tail and away he flew. Children, I'm going to read out the poem once again. Once I saw a little bird come hop, hop, hop. I cried little bird, will you stop, stop, stop? I was going to the window to say, how do you do? But he shook his little tail and away he flew. Children, this is the poem. You are going to learn the poem once again, okay? I will sing the poem for you. Once I saw a little bird come hop, hop, hop. I cried little bird. Will you stop, stop, stop? I was going to the window to say, how do you do? But he shook his tail and away he flew. Yes. Let me sing once again, children. Once I saw a little bird come hop, hop, hop. I cried little bird, will you stop, stop, stop? I was going to the window to say, how do you do? But he shook his little tail and away he flew. Children, did you enjoy the poem? Hope you all enjoyed the poem. Now, once again, let us revise the new words. New words. B-I-R-D, bird. B-I-R-D, bird. B I R D bird. What is a bird, children? It is a small creature. It has wings. It has a beak also. It can fly in the sky. Where do the birds live? The birds live in nest. Yes. Now, H O P hop. H O P hop. H O P hop. Hop means jumping and going forward. And you jump and go, that is called hopping. What does a rabbit do? It hops. What does a kangaroo do? It hops. Yes. S-T-O-P, stop. S-T-O-P, stop. S-T-O-P, stop. Stop means to stay there only or to wait or to come to an end. It's called stop. When at the traffic signals, 
when you see red light what do you do you stop yes yes children t a i l t a l t a i l t a l t a i l t a l what does this monkey have it has a long tail what does it have it has a tail is animals and birds have tails okay next is window w i n d o w window w i n d o w window w i n d o w window what is a window children it is a small opening in the house usually beside the doors we have a window yes why what do we keep windows for we usually have windows in our houses for the fresh air to come in for the sunlight to come in okay yes now we will read the sentences let's read the bird flies out of the window the bird flies out of the window what does it mean the bird is flying outside the window this flying out of the window means it is going away from the window we must stop cutting trees we must stop cutting trees what does it mean children that we should not cut trees if somebody is cutting trees also we should stop them from cutting the trees as children in page number 42 you have the poem new words let's read now let's move to the question and answers part in page number 43 you have few question answers yes yes children now as children in next page you have reading is fun we have few questions there two questions we are going to answer those questions reading is fun first question you see what did the child see let me repeat the question what did the child see what did the child see children the child saw a little bird what did the child see the child saw a little bird answer the child saw a little bird the child saw a little bird c h i l d child 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 means a small boy or a girl l i t t l little little means very small b i r d bird bird you all know yes yes the child saw a little bird next question what was the little bird doing let me repeat the question what was the little bird doing answer what was the little bird doing children it was hopping to the window it kept hopping to the window yes answer the little bird came hopping to the window the little bird came hopping to the window once again children the little bird came hopping to the window yes now children after this in page number 43 only we have next activity let's talk 
Here also we have two questions. Shall we answer them? Yes. First question, did you see any birds around your school or your house? Let me repeat the question. Did you see any birds around your school or your house? What is the question, children? Did you all see any birds at the school or at your house? Yes, most of them or everyone must have seen birds. Like at your house or at least in our school, you should have seen the birds. Yes, children. If you have seen the birds, then you are going to write, yes. I have seen many birds around my school and my house. Children, you must have seen more than one or two birds, yes? Yes, if you have seen the birds, you are going to write yes. If you have not seen any birds till now, you are going to write no. But I think all of them must have seen a bird, right? So you are going to write the answer, yes. I have seen many birds around my school and my house. Let me repeat the answer. Yes, I have seen many birds around my school and my house. Children, moving on to the next question. We have, have you tried talking to them? As children, when a bird comes to your house, you usually go to the bird try to talk or try to play with it. Yes? Most of them must have done that. So if you have done it, you're going to write answer yes. If you have not tried going to the bird, you're going to write the answer no. Let me repeat the question, children. Have you tried talking to them? Yes? Have you children tried to go near the bird? Have you tried go near the bird? Yes, most of them, by seeing the birds, we go to them. Yes, if something comes, we go to them. Yeah, so you're going to write the answer. Yes, I have tried talking to them. Let me repeat the answer. Yes, I have tried talking to them. Children, usually what happens? A bird comes to your house sometimes. What happens? You go, you try going near them. Then will they wait for you to come? No. Sometimes they wait if they don't see you. But usually when they see you, what do they do? They fly away. Now, this question and answers both. Reading is fun. And let's talk. These two question answers, I mean, all together, four question answers, you're going to write in your notebook once. You're going to write these two, four question answers in your notebook and submit me as the assignment. Okay, children. Now, moving on to the next activity. Children, can you see something? Yes, what is the picture? It is a picture of a bird. And what is that bird? It is a peacock. Most of them must have seen peacocks in our campus. Most of them, at least once. If you haven't seen the peacocks in the school, if you have visited a zoo, you must have seen a peacock in a zoo. Even if you have not seen the peacock in a zoo, or in, a, in our campus, you must have at least seen them on the TV, okay? On the TV, at least you have seen the bird peacock. Yes, how is the peacock? It has beautiful feathers and it dances very beautifully, yes? Yes. Now, and children, one very important thing. What is our national bird? Peacock is our national bird. Always remember, peacock is our 
national bird. As children, here we have the activity. Let's do. Join the letters from A to Z. All of them must have learned the alphabet. You know, from A to Z. You're going to join the dots from A to Z, like A to B, B to C, like that. And you are going to draw the feathers of the peacock. As yes, children, shall we do that? Yes, let me do it for you. You're going to join the dots from A to B. From B to C. From C to D. From D to E. From E to F. After F, G. From G to H. After H, I. So you're going to go to I. After I, J. After J, K. Children, you're going to join the dots in the alphabetical order only. From A to Z only, you're going to join the dots coming from A to B, B to C, like that. From L to M. So our M is here. Yes. M to N. Yes. M to N. Now, O. From here, you are going to go to O. Next comes P. P. Next, Q. Next, R. Next, S. Next, T. From T, you are going to go to U. From U, V. Then W. X. Next, Y. Next, Z. So from A to Z, you are going to draw the lines. Okay, children? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. This way you are going to join the dots by take a pencil and join the dot, draw a line joining the dots and you can draw the feathers of the peacock. This activity you are going to do in the textbook only. Let me repeat it. This activity you are going to do in the textbook only. Now moving on to the next activity. Children, you all remember colors? From your LKG, UKG, you have learned colors. We will once again revise the colors. Yes? Yes. So, first color is red. An apple is in red color. Second is yellow. 
Yellow color, usually sun is in yellow color. Blue, B L U E, blue. What color is the sky? Sky is in blue color. Pink, P I N K, pink. Lotus is in pink color. Next, white, W H I T E, white. And egg is in white color. Next, orange, O R A N G E, orange. Orange is in orange color. G R E E N green. What is the color of the leaf, children? Green. Yes. P U R P L E purple. Purple brinjal is in purple color. Yes? No. B L A C K black. How is the crow? Crow is always in black color. Yes. B R O W N brown. What is the color of the chocolate children? Brown color. So we must have once again recollected the colors. Yes. Now with these colors, we are going to do another activity. Okay, children. Now you are going to join the dotted lines here and trace the stars. And once again, you are going to trace the letters. Let me do once again, children. Trace over the dotted lines and letters. Now color the stars. First, you are going to trace the stars. And then trace the letter. This way, we are going to trace the star and then trace the letter. Okay, children. Join the dots and draw a line to draw a star. This way, you are going to join the dots and draw the star. This way you are going to join the stars. Yes. Now you are going to color them, okay? Color the stars in blue color, okay? This way you are going, I will do one for you. You are going to do the rest in your textbook. This activity also you are going to do in the textbook. Okay, children. Use crayons to color them. As children. This way, I have done one for you. You are going to do the rest also. Color them. Okay, children, color all the stars. Color all the stars. Color all the stars, okay? I hope 
Yes, she can. Now, in this picture, you can see a house. Now, let's learn the parts of the house. Okay, children. Yes. What is this? This is a roof, R-O-O-F, roof. This you can see a window, W-I-N-D-O, window. These are walls, W-A-L-L-S, walls. What is this? This is a dustbin, D-U-S-T-B-I-N, dustbin. What is this, children? Floor, floor means dome. Dome where you have marble. Yeah, usually it's tiles or marbles you have. F L O O R floor steps. You know, all, all of you must be knowing steps. S T E P S steps. Next, usually you grow plants in front of your house. P L A N T S plants. Next, D O O R door. Door is the main entrance of the house for going inside or coming outside. From roof, we usually use roof to protect the house from. Sunlight, rain, wind, everything. Why do we need house children? To protect ourselves from sunlight, rain, and wind, etc. Yes, so we need a shelter. So we need a house. Now children, you have another activity in the same page, page number 44. Say these words aloud and talk about the picture. Then tick the right color. Roof, R O O F, roof. D O O R, door. W I N D O W S, windows. W A L L S, walls. F L O O R, floor. P L A N T S, plants. Children, what is the color of the roof? The roof is. Pink or blue, this is pink color. So you're going to underline pink color. Next, the walls are yellow or red. What are the color? What is the color of the wall? Yellow. So you're going to underline yellow. The windows are green or brown. What is the color of the window, children? Brown. So you're going to underline brown. Yes. The door is blue or gray. What is the color of the door? It's in blue color. So you're going to underline blue. The dustbin is pink or green. Is it pink or green? Pink. So underline pink. The plants are green or orange. What is the color of the plant children? They are green color. So underline green. The floor is gray or brown. What is the color of the floor? It is in gray color. So underline gray, G-R-E-Y, gray. Let me repeat the activity, children. The roof is pink, underline pink. The walls are yellow, underline yellow. The windows are which color windows? Brown. So underline brown. The door is, door is in which color? Blue. So underline blue. The dustbin is, which color? Pink. Underline pink. Next, the plants are green. What is the color of the plant? Green. So underline green. The floor is, what color floor is? Gray color. So underline gray. So children, this is the end of the activities. You are going to do this activity also in the textbook only. Children, do you have any dogs? Children, do you have any dogs? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes. Only question I ask you. Teacher. 